Thank you, Andrea. And Sean Henry rejoining me because, Sean, since we last spoke, we've had this extraordinary statement from Chris Ray at the FBI acknowledging they had a specific, a very specific tip on a hotline on January 5th about what Nicholas Cruz might be up to and didn't, didn't refer it to the Miami field office. And they acknowledge that this is a major problem. It's more than a major problem. There's absolutely no excuse. Uh, I mean, early on when, when there was this, this post and they, the Bureau said they were un, unable to identify uh, Nicholas Cruz from that post back in September, when you get, according to the statement by the FBI themselves, that they had credible evidence from somebody who was close to Cruz, somebody who said he was violent, he was talking about guns, there were photos of him with guns, and he might do a school shooting. I mean, clearly that requires immediate follow-up. That's the type of specificity we've been asking for, Andrea, for the last two days since this happened, that you need the public to come forward, you need them to bring intelligence so that law enforcement can take appropriate actions. That clearly happened in this case and somebody dropped the ball. It's inappropriate, it's unacceptable, and, and I don't know what to say. I, I've, I've been on the air before and, when, when appropriate, defended the FBI with many of their actions. In this case, uh, it's clear that somebody uh, along the line, based on the statement of, of Director Ray, um, missed something that led to, to this tragedy or could have potentially disrupted this, and I, I just don't, don't know what to say about that, Andrea. And, Sean, you know, you understand the institution, and uh, I've been covering the, the FBI for decades, but this is at a time when the FBI is very vulnerable because of the attacks from the White House and from the president himself. And it's completely unrelated to what they're doing on the Russia probe. But this could feed the public animus that has already been ginned up by critics of the Russia investigation, including the president. Uh, there, there's no doubt that this will bring critics out. And, and let me be very, very clear. What happened here is completely unacceptable. It should never happen. When a lead like that comes in with specificity that we're talking about the lives of, of children, uh, somebody who has violent behavior, he has guns, that's something that has to be immediately addressed. That doesn't take away from the tens of thousands of successes that the men and women of the FBI conduct every single day. Clearly, this, this, that, that doesn't, shouldn't overshadow this incident, but uh, there's a lot of work being done to protect the national security in this country, and the vast majority of the incidents are handled successfully. In this particular case, it's unacceptable, and it doesn't bring back the lives of 17 people that were lost, and it... It's got to be investigated. It will be investigated. And at the end of the day, uh, there will be changes made. Uh, but it's, it's devastating to, to read what Director Ray said, uh, that they had specific information. You know, you and I were just talking uh, just within the last hour, Andrea, about the need national program. I said there needs to be a place where leads come in, they can all be addressed in, in a way that you ensure that, that there is accountability so that things don't slip through the cracks. I believe there needs to be that national program similar to what's been done with terrorism leads post 9-11. Um, th this is indicative of, of uh, where uh, the lack of a program like that leads to something being missed in, in a tragedy like this occurring. And Tom Costello, Sean, is still with us. Tom? You know, Sean is absolutely right. I, I would just make...